I wonder what would happen if I tried to make my way up those stairs and through that netting and jacket. I actually don't have to wonder. I did make my way through there. It was a little tighter fit for me <laughs> than perhaps someone who was, you know, five years old or four years old, but it was possible. Good, good, good. <laughs> so this climber was designed for children zero to five. Um, it's all about risk taking and trying to find pathways um, up to the top. So there's a lot of maneuvering from the pedals to different platforms to get to the top. That's excellent. And we are here again previewing, giving you a, a bit of a perspective of the Wonder Gallery, which is on now. And mm -hmm. it's the new gallery here at yes. Science World. And you're talking about risk taking and problem solving. And really, it's all about an education here. So lots of fun. You know, you can treat it like a jungle gym, but really, there's an education. Come on over. Right. Don't be shy, Jackie. So because this <laughs> is all about, you know, play is learning. Right. And that's what kids do. And that's how they learn. So. Um, Kids love the bathtub. Oh yeah. That's one of the favorite things. And they will bring in as many things as they possibly can in that bathtub because they're learning about density and filling and dumping. So we, we might try these out just, you know, yeah. to see about cause and effect. So what would happen if I shot this toward this, oh, look at that. This is a new discovery. But you know, I may want to repeat this again with another piece of equipment in here just to try and see if, if I'm right. And it does keep moving, and that's and really part of it. Moving. Yeah, so that's part of this because repetition is something that kids really love to do, and it really reinforces these ideas and helps them learn. Um, before the break, this has got to be a fun one for the kids here. Well, there's a way to go through and, and try these all these things out because with water, it is a science for them because um, they they're learning from filling and dumping and all the other things. But here we go, We're the, here's another cause and effect, and also with gravity, so science stuff again. Yeah. If I drop this ball in here, we gotta try to figure out what is happening. Where will this end up? And there it is. And there it is. And the kids would be so excited because look at the way it's all, I mean, I, got, I gotta say, Russ, the kids are definitely allowed to get in here and splash and go, what happens if this happens, you know? What if I wanna throw that in here and it doesn't move, you know? It's encouraging kids to play and be creative and learn, and I gotta say, I think the parents would love it as well. We've got your chance, by the way, to win a four tickets here to the Wonder Gallery at Science World Contest at btvancouver.ca, uh, subject line up on your screen, Russ, but we've got a few more activities to show throughout the morning. Thanks, Jackie. You're welcome. Looks like a lot of fun. Well, that is so cute. And we're definitely, I mean, this whole gallery is full of wonder because it's called the Wonder Gallery <laughs> here in Science World. Um, we're definitely in where, I guess, the smaller of the age group exactly. is, is going to be doing stuff, right? Right. Our infants to toddlers love this area. And what we try to focus on is a lot of gross motor kind of things, looking at color because kids are learning color at that time, textures, and then cause and effect, yes. because they can also do that. So let's watch and see what happens here. So the balls are going up, so they pressed a the button, there's what, air coming through there? There's air coming through there. We have a leaf blower inside okay. that causes that action. So kids get to learn by just this cause and effect, by pushing the button, something will happen. That is cool. I mean, there's so many great things, lots of great activities to try with your child. And then we've got, you know, little play areas as well. But even from that young age, they're learning. They are. Uh, there's areas for them to go through and crawl uh, with mirrors on either side so they can see themselves, <laughs> which is a really cool thing for them to be able to do. Very cool. And then again, all these activities. I mean, look, you've got the little, little rain uh, aprons and stuff because this is the water area. We already showed a bit of the bathtub area. But you have very important activities that do teach kids to, uh, to do certain things. Exactly, kids love patterns. And one of the things that we have are an activity card that talks about patterns and how kids like to do those kind of things. So let's go through one, see if you can follow along. Circle, square, circle. So I'd like you to finish that pattern for can me, I please. Can I get a little help at home, please? <laughs> how am I doing? How am I doing, Jackie? Oh, you're you doing great, get Don. It? I think you're gonna get it. Oh, did I get it? Yes, yes! This is so fun. Again, you can check out Wonder Gallery here at Science World. It's on now and it's part of the gallery, really specifically for uh, parents and caregivers and children five and under. For more information, you can go to the Science World website and we've got your chance to win four tickets as well. Contest at btvancouver.ca, subject on your screen. How do I look? You, you are awesome. <laughs> 
so many great things for families and specifically parents, caregivers, and children five and under. What are we seeing right now inside the Wonder Truck? Okay, so inside Wonder Wheels, this is our experiment area. So kids get to role play, become scientists, uh, and work with science facilitators along the edge here and work on experiments like balancing scales and looking at objects. So it's a great place for them to learn and problem solve about science and investigate. And look like a scientist. How cute are these little lab coats? This is awesome. A real chance for them to kind of role play and get into the mode. They really do. <laughs> Let's talk about what's up on top of uh, Wonder Wheels as well. What are we seeing up there? Oh, we're seeing some antenna um, that we decided that needed to go up there. Um, just a great way to promote the truck. Wonderful. Well, just like a food truck. Just like a food <laughs> truck, but it's all about science and learning. And this really is one of the activity centers. So you've got all the um, wonder boxes, right. which have different activities and learning uh, skills. There's lots of video here as well to sort of help right. develop your child. And that's really your background is that early childhood development, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So we have our wonder boxes and then we have our digital components, parent resources. But I want to walk you through one. Great. So we talk, we will talk about infants and sensory because um, that's their first way of learning about the world mm -hmm. um, from mom to things that you touch um, so textures are a really big important part which we have over even in uh, crawl right. so one of the things that kids like to do is and parents will do is build on the vocabulary for children so as we touch things I might say oh this is smooth so that's what smooth feels like okay excellent this is about feathers Still smooth again. And soft. And soft. Right. So a lot of vocabulary that comes in from here. We talk about this one. This could be scaly like a fish, but still smooth and a little bit bumpy. Okay, so the idea is that when they touch something, they now learn how to describe it. Right. Right? And then this one here. Reptiles. Rough. Scaly. Wonderful. I mean, this is what's great, and it is wonderful Beautiful. here at the Wonder Gallery because not only, I mean, on a very basic level, great, there's lots of areas for the kids to play. Mm -hmm. Again, this is geared toward five and under, and of course, um, lots of ability for the parents and caregivers to get involved as well. Uh, but it's a chance for them to then learn. So, you know, on a very basic scale, yeah, there's lots of activities and fun things, but there's an element of learning, and if learning is fun and science is fun, they're learning a lot. That's right. And play is learning. <laughs> and play is learning. <laughs> and you can make your way here now, anytime actually, to the Wonder Gallery here at Science World. And we have a chance for you to win four passes to Science World. Uh, all you have to do is enter contest at btvancouver.ca and subject line is on your screen.